Like all mothers, I love my family and I want my children to grow up strong, clever and healthy. However, over a few months, I watched my children slowly get sicker and sicker and I didn't know how to make them better. This is my story as a mother in Rwanda, Burundi. Over a few months, my daughter Kanyange changed. She stopped playing with her friends and was so tired all the time. Her abdomen started to swell, her arms and legs got very thin and I could see her ribs poking through her chest. Then her hair started to go a yellow, reddish color and chunks of it started to fall out. I kept trying to feed her, but she wasn't interested and would turn her head away. Even my strong seven-year-old son Kagabo was changing. At one point in time, he studied so hard at school, he was at the top of the class. I was so proud of him. But then his grades started to drop and I got reports from the teacher that he was falling asleep in class. What is a mother to do with a son like that? He was supposed to get an education and a good job, give me grandchildren and look after us in our old age. My husband went to speak to the village chief. He explained that our children are always tired and have become thin and fat at the same time. We asked him to call the traditional healer, but instead he told us that we should go to the health center because this could all be caused by the food we are feeding our children. My husband was surprised. We feed our family the same as all families. Sweet potatoes, banana and cassava. This is the food Rwandans, Burundians have eaten for centuries. It is what my father and grandfather ate, but we listened to the chief's advice and took Kanyange to the health center. The health worker measured Kanyange's arm and showed me a tape with three colors, red, yellow and green. Red would mean that Kanyange was severely malnourished. Yellow would mean she was moderately malnourished and green would mean that she was healthy. To our horror, the measurement came out red. The health worker explained that Kanyange would need medical treatment and that if she didn't get it, she could become even more sick and even die. She explained that when a child is as malnourished as Kanyange is, their stomach doesn't work properly anymore and giving them normal food could make them very ill. Kanyange would need to get special food from the clinic. We learned that malnutrition is caused when you don't eat enough food or you don't eat the right variety of foods. She said that malnutrition is not just about the quantity of food you eat, but also the quality. She said we get malnourished when we don't put enough fuel in our bodies to make them run. Just like putting petrol in a car, she said. She explained malnutrition can stop children growing tall and strong and affect how well they do at school. And if a child is under two years old, the effect of malnutrition can be permanent. The health worker also warned that children who are malnourished are more likely to catch diseases like cholera, diarrhea or malaria because the body is not strong enough to fight diseases. It will also take longer for a child with malnutrition to get better and they are even more likely to die from these diseases than a healthy child. Diarrhea or worms can even cause malnutrition as well because the child is not getting the goodness from the food they eat. We promised to take the health worker's advice and kick malnutrition out of our family for good. My husband went straight to the village chief to tell him what we learned. The village chief promised to talk about it at the next community meeting. Now every parent in our village will be able to spot the signs of malnutrition. One, thin arms, swollen stomach and or swollen legs from the knee downwards. Two, changing hair color. 3. Loose skin under the bottom 4. Hair becoming thinner 5. Change in skin color 6. Loss of energy, concentration and tiredness 7. Irritability, which is crying with no tears Now I know what to feed my family to keep them healthy. All foods are split into three different families. One. Family one are the proteins like fish, meat, beans, cow peas, milk, eggs and peanuts. These foods make our bodies grow strong and build muscle. Two, 
family too are the carbohydrates like matoke, rice, sweet potatoes, Irish potatoes, cassava and ugali. These foods give us energy. Three, family three are the fruits and vegetables like amaranth, cabbage, tomatoes, squash, orange, papaya, avocado, pineapple and ripe bananas. These foods give us vitamins and minerals that protect the body from diseases. Every meal needs to include something from each of the three food families, like this meal here. I will also keep breastfeeding Kanyange until she is two years old. This is a great way to keep her healthy and prevent malnutrition and protect her from diseases. After six months of breastfeeding, you can start to add a balanced diet of foods to a child's diet. And everyone in the family should get their own plate so we can be sure everyone is eating enough to stay healthy. Plus, this stops my husband eating the biggest share every time. We have even planted a kitchen garden around the house. If we plant a variety of vegetables that all grow at different times, we will always have fruit and vegetables to eat. This means we don't have to spend money and we will still have food, even when we can't buy meat or fish. After two months, you wouldn't believe the difference in my family. Just look at them now. Kanyange looks like a normal two-year-old with her hair back to normal and her body the right size and shape. Our garden is thriving. We have so many cabbages, carrots and tomatoes that I was able to sell some at the market and earn enough money to buy a chicken which is now giving us lots of eggs. I'm so glad we changed the way we eat. Such small changes have made a big difference. Nowadays, our meals are well balanced and everyone is happier with much more energy. Kagabu is even number one in his class again. And me? I am a proud mother who knows how to care for her children so they grow big and strong. I hope my story will help your children to do the same.